All right, how's everyone doing? I'm Rich Chalenza. Thanks for checking out my channel. So I want to do a video on telling people to be very aware of who they worship when it comes to athletic icons or people that they idolize or look up to when it comes to working out. Um, I think all of us, for the most part, are people that love to work out, uh, love to play different sports. They look up to a lot of athletes uh, that they either grew up with or they're looking up to athletes that they you know, kind of want to be like now or emulate. And that could go for any age. And that could go for any sport. But the th thing I want to talk about regarding that is just be very aware of chasing something that sometimes um, can actually damage you. A lot of times I talk about in my videos, working out is about, you know, longevity and staying healthy. It's not just about destroying yourself for a certain amount of time. A lot of athletes that you may have loved in your past or now or whatever the case may be get paid a lot of money and do a lot of things to their body and have a lot of time uh, that not a lot of other people have. So you have to realize um, when you're sometimes chasing someone, so I used to kind of emulate because I'm older, uh, Walter Payton, Dick Buckus, uh, I'm from Chicago, Jordan, these type of athletes, professional, incredible athletes that I wanted to be like. But then, as I realized I was gonna be a football and basketball, I then moved on to more or less bodybuilding or powerlifting. And I really idolized a lot of guys in the 80s, 90s, and 2000s even. And I realized I was kind of chasing them to a certain degree. Nothing wrong with having goals and wanting to do your best, but you have to realize again what a lot of these guys were doing to their bodies. Um, as far as legal and illegal, I wasn't willing to do. And sometimes chasing after something, I was actually damaging my body. I wasn't helping it, especially gaining a lot of weight, the way I was eating. And I wanted to figure out a way on how to do it without necessarily taking supplements or steroids or all these different types of things. And again, I'm not saying everybody that I looked up to in athletics was on steroids. A lot of them were though. But my point being is, regardless what it's, whoever, I should say, whoever you like or whoever you look up to, uh, and this goes for younger people as well. You want to make sure you take your own course on how to get to where you want to be. And sometimes you may be in a position where someone tells you you have to do certain things or take certain things to get to a certain level. That may or may not be true, but I'm here to tell you just be very aware of that. And that goes for adults as well. A lot of guys I see even in their 30s, 40s, even 50s doing certain things to their body because they want to either keep up with their past or... They want to get kind of a quick thing going uh, to get results much quicker. So they'll experiment with different things, especially if they're older and they don't think, hey, well, I'm this age, who cares what's going to happen to me now? I'm already, you know, past my prime or whatever the case may be. But please be aware of that. Remember, your body is your own temple. You have to take care of it. And don't worry about what everybody else is doing a lot of times, because if you go back to a lot of athletes uh, from the past, what you don't know is a lot of them are injured. A lot of them have a lot of health issues. So what you, might, what you may have seen in the limelight or how they looked at certain times or how they performed was exceptional, but you didn't see the payback. You didn't see 10, 15, 20 years down the line. Now, if you watch YouTube videos or study anything really about a lot of athletes, you will know, especially in the bodybuilding world, let's just say a lot of people die of heart attacks, have a lot of illnesses. Um, so just take care of your body is basically what I'm saying. Don't get caught up in what everybody else is doing. But like I said, you want to have certain goals. That's one thing. And that's great to, ex you know, go after those goals. Just don't destroy your body while doing it. All right. I'm going to leave it at that. Uh, if you get a chance, you might want to check out my other YouTube videos. I talk a lot about different things, not just fitness related, I guess, to a certain point, but I should say I talk about fitness, but I come at it from a different angle, more, I think, not just talking about workouts. I talk about a lot of different things. I also have a podcast, The Rich Chalenza Show, WTF Are You Talking About, I'm on LinkedIn, Twitter, Instagram, and Facebook. All right, if you want to know more, you could just go to richchalenza.com. So I'm going to wrap it up there, and please take care of yourself, all right? It's on you. Don't expect anybody else to take care of you but you. All right, take care.